Hello, Randy Rain here, and check it out. I have another animated animation. Someone saw my video. They said, hey, I have one you haven't done. So they sent it to me, and now I have the Batman animated series version here. This is the Joker's Wild. I have no earthly idea what it's supposed to do. Never seen it before. The person I know that has a few of these does not have this one. So I'm going in completely blind on everything. It has the certificate of authentication back here, but I see it is missing a battery door. It's very common on these things, it seems like. But it looks fun, so let me see if I can get the Joker joking again. So there's two screws on each side that you have to take out. See how easy this one is to get off. Usually it's best to start at a corner. Oh, that one's pretty easy. And there's Batman. There's just a safety screw here holding this in place. Here's something different. Oh, I guess that lights up, because I've never seen that before. Unplug those. And now this can go away for now. Do these need to come off first to get to everything? They sure are in the way. Take this. Might come off. Yeah, that'll come off. I'm also going to put these screws right back. And it's stuck there. Is there anything else this thing's stuck on? Yep. This is all one piece. Wow, is that stuck down? Ah, okay. That's why that's... This is why there's a little cutout right here. Is this bar and then if I lift up here I got a bar here now yeah, this is a weird one okay that gets it but yeah it's just this is gonna have to come up there's just no choice this is stuck down and then glued it down well, that's stupid Hmm. All right, well, let's come back to that. Let's move over here. This one looks easy. Oh, there's that one. And the circuit board and everything. Oh. What is all this hooked to? I'll take this one off. It just grabs that. Hmm. <laughs> wow, okay. choice. No choice. There's a screw. Hmm. I don't know if this is a newer one or older one. I, I think it's newer. One of the later ones. One of the reasons is it has a metal gear on here. I've never seen metal gears on these things. So it's either a late one and they decided to start using metal gears or it's a really early one and they decided to stop using metal gears. Yeah, so this one's starting to crack, like they always do. That is an idle gear, so that's fine. That looks, I don't see any problems there. 
And that came off pretty easy. Strong there. And you should work. Okay. There's one. Number two's right below it. That one has a metal gear as well. I'm sure it's cracked. Yeah. Comes off off easy. I'm putting a new one on there anyway. Right, so it spins that away. That one comes up when you turn that direction. When you turn the other direction, it pulls this one down. That's the way I'm going to leave it. And hopefully it resets itself. So I don't know where it's supposed to go. Number three is over here on this side, right next to this big giant capacitor, which I'm guessing means there's a xenon flash bulb behind everything. That's usually what that means. At least that's what it means on the duck dodgers. Well, they're all the same thing. You can see they are cracked. So if I turn this one this way, it'll go until it hits that right there. Nice. Go back the other way. And if I turn here, these guys come down. At least. Okay, I got some fresh batteries in there. It's time to see what this does. Turning it on. It did something. That's a, always a good sign. What the hell? You started, then you just stopped. Okay. Turn you back on. Try again. Okay, you're not doing anything. All right, so I plugged it in and turned it on. It wasn't doing anything. I checked the switches, make sure those are still functioning. Those are all fine. Then I looked over here and I noticed this chip was socketed. And so I popped this out and it was very, very crunchy. And I looked it up and this is an EEPROM chip. This is the program chip. This is what they programmed. And all the, everything else is soldered, but this is in a, in a socket. So I squirt some WD-40 down in here, and then I sanded lightly on the pins, pushed it back in, and it was pretty crunchy going back in. But now, when you turn it on and you hit the button, This one. This guy. Time to inject. Think back to all your buddy dad. Oh, he did. He did. He never let the show about me. You better call your fancy lawyers. Oh, come trail, bird boy. I'm just getting fired up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hope I haven't missed all the 
And it works. Now time to put it back together. You've got to go behind you. And under you. Yes, that has got to be what it is. That is the only way. Some of these are different. There's a fine thread that goes into the metal and a coarse thread that goes into the plastic. So this is a metal one here. Now this guy goes on here, here. So I put in one. I just get them all started and then I'll tighten them down. Kind of, maybe, maybe it's fine, we'll see. All right, I've got it moved back because this does need to be glued down. Otherwise, this kind of flicks it every time. I'm not a fan of the glue. Okay, now we can Hitting. That's perfect. All right, it all seems to be working. <laughs> Go ahead and put this back. Check, make sure this is right. Does it turn on? Yeah, there it is. There we go. I didn't know they didn't have a battery door and I made one a long time ago and it's not a copy of one it's the actual one I made
is a battery door, technically. Well, there it is, the Joker's Wild Animated Animations. And I kind of like this one. Not that I'm a big Batman fan or anything. I just like how it has a lot of movement out of some very basic things. This one is very, very basic, but it gets a lot out of it. And I like that. I also like it when the Batmobile pops up. It actually looks like it comes around the corner. It happens so fast and your brain just fills it in. That's kind of fun. Well, it's all working and it's time to see it in action. So here we go. The last line's different. So if you have one of these that's not working and I haven't done a video on it, you can contact me and more than likely I'll fix it for you. Anyway, if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank all these people right here. These are the people who brought you the animated animations and how to fix it. And I thank them oh so very much. And I couldn't do any of this stuff without the patrons. So I thank them oh so very much. And if you'd like to become a patron, of course, there are links and perks and whatnot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Kiss, 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 kiss.